cryogenics, the process of freezing a person after they die in hopes that science in the future will be able to bring them back. It first made headlines when baseball legend Ted Williams' family had his head frozen. All of this happening out of the Alcor facility in Scottsdale. And years later, despite some bad publicity, Alcor says it's thriving. And more and more people are having themselves frozen for the future. Christy Siefkin, Fox 10's Christy Siefkin, got an inside look at the Alcor facility. Christy, that's a quite interesting access to get. Absolutely, a very interesting tour, and in fact, it is open to the public. Anyone can go by and tour Alcor's facility. And this year, Alcor Life Extension in 2014 preserved a record number of people, or what they call patients. And then in this year, Alcor completed the longest distance international preservation ever. This cryonics facility has members young and old, some of them from Arizona, and any others from many others from around the world. Many sign up hoping that future technology will bring them back to life figuring out a way to bring their frozen bodies into the modern day. Garrett Hirschleb never leaves home without his Alcor bracelet. It says, if you find me dead, put me on ice and call this number. When Garrett dies, he'll be cryopreserved, his brain frozen in liquid nitrogen until science discovers a way to bring him back to life. So people think that when you die, you're dead. That's not the way it is at all. Dr. Max Moore is the president of Alcor Life Extension Foundation in Scottsdale. Alcor has members from all over the globe, as old as 101 and as young as two and a half, like this little Thai girl who recently died from brain cancer. Moore says the process of cryopreserving is solidly backed by science. Now it's been done successfully with a rabbit kidney, where that's been cryopreserved, reimplanted in a rabbit, and it's functioned. Moore calls Alcor an extension of emergency medicine, starting the moment a person's pronounced dead and placed in this ice bath. Basically restarting breathing, restarting circulation. Uh, we're also running cold water over the head because you want to cool the brain as quickly as possible. Ah. Next, blood is replaced with medical grade antifreeze and the patient's temperature slowly dropped below 100 degrees Celsius. We're vitrifying, which is really the forming of this, this block of resinous glass material. All 135 of our course patients are stored inside these doers in this one room. About a third of them have chosen to have their entire body preserved. Two thirds of them have chosen to be neuro patients, preserving just their head. So basically you're gonna end up in this container and that will be filled with liquid nitrogen and you'll be secured in that. Inside these giant thermoses, patients are preserved indefinitely and can even be joined by their pets. We currently only offer that to members, the idea being that you want someone to take care of them when they come back. Some members plan to bring family back too. Moore's wife will join him at Alcor and Garrett's wife, she's a different story. She thinks I'm pretty crazy and she thinks, oh yeah, whatever. Alcor makes no guarantees about future revival, but for some, the thought of another go at life is promise enough. I think of it as grasping at straws, but even a small chance is better than no chance. Alcor charges $200,000 if you choose to preserve your entire body and then $80,000 if you just want to preserve your head. Alcor says most members pay for the service through their life insurance policy. And if you're interested in being cryopreserved and you're single, there's a convention coming up in Las Vegas in May to help you find a like-minded soulmate. Did you get anywhere mm. near Ted Williams? If we did, I didn't know it. We obviously, for the sake of preserving people's identities didn't open up any of the chambers. That put them on the map. I really absolutely did. Yeah, did. I'm really curious about this um, singles party that you can meet. They want you to meet somebody who's also kind of on board with this. With this lifestyle, Are there a lot of singles that they've got <laughs> going well, to this. What was interesting, the gentleman we talked to, who is a member, he very openly said, "I'm choosing to do this. I have a very technical mind. I do technology as my career. I believe science just hasn't figured out a way yet." Mm -hmm. My wife is a Buddhist, and she doesn't believe that my body or her body will be brought back to life. So uh, they're a couple who obviously is choosing different paths, but right. I imagine there are couples out there that think we love each other this lifetime. How about another? Next one, lifetime. one more time. How many in there right now? Um, over 136. Wow. Right. And obviously, since people continue to sign up, that number grows and grows. This sure. last year, 13 people mm. passing and then being added to their facility there. And even a two-year-old girl. Yeah, two-year-old wow. little girl from Thailand. Wow. Thank, Thank you. you. Very interesting. interesting. You're welcome.